Hey Magical Sparks, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out some art supplies that were kindly sent to me by the company Artex. I did take it out of the box that it arrived in, but there's still a couple of layers of packaging, so join me as we open it right now. And also in today's video, I'm going to be making a couple of fashion illustrations and having some fun, so make sure to grab your sketchbook and draw along with me. So they sent me two cool art supplies to try out and we're going to be doing that right now once we open the last layer of packaging. So as you can see, this is the Artex Alp 90V marker set and here are some gel pens which we will look more into afterwards. Can I just say, the packaging is so nice. Like, look at the design on the front, it's so pretty and there was this little slip on the front which I took off but I did not want to waste it so I did repurpose it afterwards as you will see in the video. And now back to the box, look at this, it's such a beautiful illustration. Not only that, but the box comes with a nice handle that you can use to lift the box and carry your markers around, which is great for if you are traveling. I also love the kind of muted green color of the box. I think it looks really nice and simple, and it contrasts well with the amount of detail on the drawing or illustration on the front of the box. And now for the best part, let's have a look at what's inside. Starting it off at the very top, the first thing I saw was this adorable little postcard with the illustration on the front, and then we have a thank you card from Artex and a swatch sheet which we will use very very soon and there are also some handy tips at the top and now finally here are the markers that we get in this set it already looks so colorful and bright and guess what the box actually acts as a stand by itself which is really convenient and now I decided to pick a color in random. This one looks really nice, so let's have a look at that. So now let's have a closer look at the marker. So this is how it looks. As you can see, the type of tip is marked out on the marker, which is really useful. So that way you will have easy access and be able to quickly know which nib is the chisel nib and which one is the bullet nib. Later on, we're gonna experiment with these markers and see what kind of variety each of the tips can provide. But before that, let's have a look at the gel pens that also came with the package. So I opened it up and inside, we have two gold gel pens, two silver, and three white. Okay, now here's the thing. I have tried a couple of white gel pen brands, but I have never ever tried Artex gel pens at all. So I'm actually kind of curious to see how these work and we're gonna find out very, very soon. But before that, there was one thing that I wanted to do because it's fun and it's satisfying. And that is to take all the markers out and rearrange them my way. I personally find every step of this process fun. The very first step is taking out all the markers but having them in some kind of order. And then the second step for me is to just pop them in in the way that I like it. For example, here I've kind of categorized the markers by colors. And the good thing about this is by taking all the markers out, I can kind of see how the markers were organized inside the box. And as you can see, there's kind of like a grid setup, which is so good because that way you can keep your markers in a rainbow order if that's something you like. Now, this was actually lots of fun to do and I hope you guys enjoy watching the recording of me doing this as well. For some reason, I find watching the last marker go into its place to be so satisfying and just something that's slightly more satisfying than that is looking at the final result where everything is in harmony. And now let's start swatching our markers. I started off with the black marker, then I did this one. And as you can see, the number is on the lid of the marker and you just have to match it up with the number on the swatching card. And then you just, you're pretty much done. Just keep going, enjoy the process and watch all the colors make this page come to life. And as I'm swatching, I'm gonna share my thoughts on the markers and colors in this set. So in my opinion, I think that there's a really good variety of grays and blues and greens. I also love how there's a variety of reds and pinks. There's also some purples and there's a lot of good pastel colors. I think that's something that would have been nice, however, is if there was some more orange colors, that would have been nice. But in my opinion, I think this set is great for beginners because with markers you can layer them to create different colors and effects and if I had this set when I was a beginner I would have been using it every day because it, I think it has all the essentials pretty much and I think it's really great. My favorite part is definitely the variety of pastel colors because they're also pretty and I love them so much. And you know what something really cool is? When I folded up my swatch sheet, it fit exactly in the box and you can't even tell it's there. It's kind of like it's hiding, like it's your own secret and you can take it out or you can put it on top like how it was when you opened the box. But I like putting it in the side just because it's like my own secret that 190,000 of you guys have now found out about. <laughs> just kidding. And now let's go ahead and 
swatch these gel pens. The pen that I was most excited to swatch first was definitely the gold one because gold is just such a pretty color and I wanted to see what type of gold this was, like was it a more desaturated gold or a yellowish gold and also how shiny it was. And look at this, with the flash on it looks so shiny and shimmery and beautiful and the silver also looks really really good especially with the flash on it looks even better when there's like light being shown directly on it even in sunlight i love how it looks and then i tried swatching the white gel pens on white paper which obviously doesn't make sense because it wouldn't show up but don't worry it was just a trial then i went ahead and swatched it on black paper which, which was at the very last part of my sketchbook also can i just say these pens are actually really nice like i don't know how to describe it but it felt like really juicy as in i felt like there was a lot of ink and it was just so smooth and i didn't have to like press hard or anything like that like the ink just showed up so well and i was really happy with that and just overall using them was a really nice experience now i was planning on using the gel pens in my final drawing or drawings actually but i also wanted to just test it out on a drawing that i already had made or in this case a painting to see how it works so i used it on top of the moon i had painted then i used a tissue to kind of smudge it out and then i added some circles on top to give it some texture and here's how it looks i think it worked really well in my opinion and i just love how thick it goes on the only thing is you have to give it some time to dry also yes the lid does spit on the back which is also great and now let's work a little bit more in my sketchbook before we start making our final drawings so i decided to cut out pieces from the tag that was kind of like on the box before and then i decided to add the postcard in i didn't want to glue it in case i ever wanted to use it in the future so instead i just used washi tape so that way if i did want to use this postcard all i have to do is just open this sketchbook take off the washi tape and i can use the postcard and then i decided to experiment with the markers here are how the nibs work just so you can see and i also wrote down the numbers as well of the markers that i used then i did some blending tests and here's how they blended it was pretty easy to be honest and here i accidentally got glue here which is why you can like see a bit of a smudgy kind of line there my bad but let's try again then i tried layering the markers on top of each other to see what kind of color we can create and here's how that turned out by the way the lid of the marker does not fit on the back if that's something you're looking into but personally i think it's all right because you can just put the cap on your table and just keep drawing as you can see here i was just having such a fun time experimenting in my sketchbook and testing out these markers and seeing how how they work because before in the past i've used artex auras markers but i haven't used their alp markers as in the alp markers so i had a fun time experimenting and trying them out today i also decided to make a quick drawing to fill the space and if you can't tell already look at the size of my hand and look at the size of the drawing it's like really really small and i also kind of didn't take my time doing this so it's not my best piece of work but it was just really fun to try and also it's just my sketchbook so obviously i can have a fun time drawing without having to make a masterpiece every single time also i accidentally got glue on the paper here again so oopsie my bad and the character i'm drawing here is kind of based off the character on the postcard at the top as you can tell the hair is pretty similar and i tried to guess what kind of color the outfit might be and that's pretty much what i was going for but i tried to kind of keep it in my style and that's pretty much it a nice quick drawing to fill up the page and to make it look nice and full <laughs> and now that that's done i think it's time that we start working on the actual final drawings in today's video okay so i was feeling really really inspired to just kind of draw a bunch of fashion drawings as in like come up with my own designs based on something and to just color it in so i took this chance to do just that i grabbed out two pieces of paper and then i cut them in half and then i started drawing so we're making a total of four drawings today i know right four drawings that sounds like a lot more than usual but that's just what happens when you're inspired so this very first drawing here was actually inspired by a species of fish specifically the blue tang fish the one that they use to play dory in finding nemo and you know what more on that afterwards the next one that i'm drawing and this one was the one i thought i might just scrap because it wasn't turning out well at the beginning was actually a character inspired by capsicums so you may know capsicums as bell peppers depending on where you live or peppers but i call them capsicums and it's inspired by the three colors that capsicums come in next up we have a character inspired by a mushroom and i was being nice and brave today and i decided to draw a guy which is something i've kind of been getting into recently like i've kind of been practicing because i do want to learn how to draw guys and feel confident so 
I think I'm slowly, as in very, very slowly, getting to that point. <laughs> Still, progress is progress, one step at a time. And this character is inspired by mushrooms. And <laughs> this will make sense later, trust me. The sketches are really rough, but afterwards it'll all start to make sense. And the very last character is inspired by strawberries. I know, it's basic, strawberries, yeah, but the thing is I really wanted to draw an outfit with like a fruit pattern on it, so this time I'm going to be drawing an outfit as in a dress with like cute little strawberry prints on it, and like I said before, or like multiple times, you will get to see how that turns out very very soon. All of these designs, like fashion designs, are kind of just inspired by the things that I told you, like a capsicum, a fish, mushrooms, and strawberries. They don't have to look exactly like what the fruit or object looks like, it's more of just my way of generating ideas by basing the designs off of something. Or in other words, for me, it's just a fun way to kind of get my creativity flowing so I can kind of generate ideas and just kind of have fun drawing. And now it's time for the line art. I didn't spend too much time in this video with the line art because it's already long as it is, so we're going to kind of dash past that. And like I was saying before, with this drawing, I was kind of worried about it because I wasn't loving the initial sketch and even now it looks really simple. But you know what the shocking thing is? This drawing, the one that I showed you before, the capsicum girl, ended up being my most favorite drawing out of all the ones that I made today, which is something that still shocks me. But anyways, time to start coloring. And I'm also going to be taking this chance to talk more about the markers and the gel pens and what I think about them, what I think about the pros and the cons and things like that. And now here's what I think about the markers. So here's what I think about the Artex ALP or ALP 90B marker set with the bullet nibs and the chisel nibs. I think that the packaging is great and I'm not just saying that because of the color or the design, I'm saying that because it comes with a handle and it is self-standing which is very useful for when you're either drawing on the go or when you want to place the markers on your desk so you can see all the colors and have easy access to them. I also love the fact that the markers kind of like stand on their own, like there's a grid and they won't just get mixed up randomly because you can put them in an order and they will stay in that order because there's like a grid system in the box. I also like how the swatch sheet fits inside the box so that way you can just put it inside the box and carry the box around instead of having to carry the swatch sheet separately and the box separately if that's something you need. Also you have to love the free postcard because it's so cute and I also love the fact that the markers have one nib or like one tip that's like really thick and nice for coloring those big spaces and the bullet nib is not just like in between it's like really fine and i think that's really good because that way when you're working on your drawings and you want to color in something small like the eyes for example as i did here you can use the bullet nib without worrying about it being too big or anything like that which i think is pretty good so you have like two options something nice and big for covering spaces which is the chisel nib and you have something nice and fine for the smaller details like the bullet nib. Also, I just want to say with this drawing, I kind of have like a process to it. So the base of the dress is kind of inspired by how the fish looks and then the sleeve is inspired by the fin and the bottom part is kind of inspired by, I guess, the tail. Look, I don't know fish anatomy, but I was pretty inspired by the different colors of the blue tang fish and how it looks and I just tried to capture that as best as I could. I also decided to keep the hair black with undertones of blue just so that everything stays with in that same kind of color palette and then i used this gold pen to add like scales and i think it looks so nice it looks like fish scales kind of but it also looks nice and shiny so does the silver pen here like just look at that it's so pretty it looks like it's glowing and like i said it looks even better with flash and i know you're probably expecting me to show you how the final drawing turned out but i'm sorry you're gonna have to wait until the end just for fun because i want to do like a very nice grand reveal of all four drawings at the same time all right and now back to what I was saying about the markers, I'm really happy that the number of the marker is labeled on top of the cap because that way like it's an easy way for you to remember what color you like using. For example, one of the color combinations I used to color the skin for some of today's drawings were the markers 142 and 88. So having numbers is kind of useful because as you use your markers over time, it'll kind of help you to become more familiarized with them. And now on the other hand, some things that you might want to consider are things such as how this marker set, um, the caps don't fit on the other side, very minor detail. 
or maybe something like uh, the variety of colors. Like what I mean is that if you're someone who likes to specifically draw black and white illustrations or if you like to specifically draw landscapes and mountains and oceans or if you specifically like to draw architecture and you need more like earthy colors, then those are just some things for you to consider. Like look at the colors in the set and ask yourself, are these colors right for me? Um, I think personally that these colors are great for beginners if you're just someone who's looking to get into art but you don't know what art supply to buy i think this set offers a pretty good variety of colors um like as a beginner i don't think you're gonna need too many colors because you're only just starting and obviously you can buy more as you go but if you're someone who's already into a specific style of art i would recommend just considering are the colors right for me and right for my style or what i want my style to become and like i said if this was me as a beginner and i got this art set i would be really happy because like as a beginner it has pretty much all the colors that you would potentially need or i would have potentially needed and it's just a great way to start your journey <laughs> of art and now more about this drawing, I'm, as you can tell, drawing a character inspired by mushrooms and on his t-shirt he has like a mushroom kind of logo sort of thing on it and his beanie is inspired by the pattern that you would see on a mushroom or at least the mushroom emoji. <laughs> and that actually reminds me, if you have managed to watch this far into the video without skipping or fast forwarding anything, then you are truly, truly amazing. And to let me know that you've been watching for this long, make sure to comment this emoji down below. And sorry, I'm not going to show you how this drawing turned out either, at least not yet, because like I said before, we're going to wait for the very nice grand reveal at the end. And now we're on to our next drawing. And this one was the drawing of the strawberry inspired character. So I decided to draw a person holding a fruit basket or just like a normal basket with strawberries inside. I was thinking of initially doing carrots because I thought that would be pretty cute but then I decided to do strawberries instead just because this set has such a pretty pretty variety of different pink colors and I wanted to just try using them to see what I could create. I also wanted to add purple to this drawing but I wasn't sure exactly if that would kind of fit the theme so I just decided to play it safe and go with pinks. It's too late now but I kind of wish that I took the time to like add a proper background to this drawing like just this one in specific because I feel like it would have been so cute if I drew a background behind the character where it was like a strawberry field with like little bushes and little fruits and berries on the ground and maybe like little squirrels I think that would have looked so cute I mean maybe I could try that at some point but just the idea sounds so nice I also want to try and practice drawing backgrounds this year but we'll see one goal at a time First, I'm going to learn how to draw guys, and then we're going to focus on drawing backgrounds. And now this was my favorite part of the entire process of making this drawing because I got to use like a pretty cherry red kind of color to add these strawberries as in small little triangles. And then I used marker, I think it was 175, to add like cute little um, the leafy parts on top of the strawberry and it was just so nice because it was so small and it's just such a small detail that just adds so much to this drawing. Now it's time to add in the nice, fun and small details. And now with the hair, I was honestly so confused on what color I should make the hair. Like, I wanted to make it pink, but I felt like that might be just a little bit too much for this drawing because the dress is pink and a lot of the drawing is already kind of pink. So I thought, maybe let's do blonde with like streaks of pink. Then I thought, what if I do like a strawberry blonde? And just like that, the thoughts in my head just kept on going and going until I eventually decided to layer a bunch of different colors for the hair. And the good thing is, I liked how it looked. Also, now that we are making a strawberry inspired drawing, my sister has something she would like to say <laughs> okay here she is here's twinkle i like strawberries do you like strawberries <laughs> i'm probably going to come back to this video multiple times in the future and forward it exactly to this point just so i can hear her cute little voice because kids grow up so fast and their voices change so fast but i think this is a great memory and yes, I do like strawberries. Do you guys like strawberries? Let us know in the comments down below. And now it's time to add like a small background. This is just like a simple block of color to be honest. It's nothing too fancy. But I do want to try at some point doing my fancy background idea because I think it'll turn out pretty cute. Anyways, now time for our very last drawing. And just before that, I wanted to pack up my desk a bit because it was getting a bit messy. And now that it's all clean, it's time to start coloring. Now, like I said before, this sketch for this drawing wasn't my favorite and I had some trouble with it. 
and the line art looks really simple compared to the others and I was kind of just worried about how this drawing was going to turn out and going into this I kind of had the mindset that in case this drawing doesn't turn out how I wanted it to I would just not end up including it in this video but the crazy crazy thing is that this ended up being my favorite drawing out of all four drawings that I made today and you'll see why as we start coloring also I do want to say thank you to my mom for recommending this idea she was the one who suggested that I try to turn a capsicum into a fashion design or like a person and at first I was like what am I gonna do with a capsicum but the thing is there is so much you can do because firstly capsicums come in three colors so there you go you have a nice unique color palette Secondly, the shape of capsicums, they're so bubbly and they're not like symmetrical, they're kind of unique and I try to kind of capture that with the dress as you can see me kind of trying to do here. And just like that, if you take some time to think about it, there's truly so many things that could inspire you and get your creativity going in the world around you, such as capsicums. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could have drawn like someone wearing a cap, get it like a cap or maybe I could have like made the sleeves look really nice and bubbly as well these are things that I didn't think of at the time of making these drawings but now that I'm getting these ideas I feel like there's just a whole new set of possibilities on a different note I would love to wear a gown like this like something so fluffy and colorful is definitely something that I would love and now I'm gonna take the chance to talk about the gel pens so the gel pens in my opinion are really great as you will see me doing with this drawing they really just help to add that extra sense of detail and they look really fancy as well especially the metallic ones the white gel pen also worked really well i used it in a lot of places throughout all of these four drawings i used it to kind of outline the characters and um, to add highlights on their eyes and things like that and it worked really well it's such a nice bright white color and as you saw before all these gel pens show up really well on black paper specifically and i mean they just looked so pretty especially like i said before when the camera's flash was turned on or when it was in direct sunlight they just looked so pretty and so magical and i love them a lot and i would like to send out a really really big thank you to artex for sending me these gel pens and markers to try out if you can't tell already i had a great time using these products because as you can see i was so inspired that i ended up making four illustrations instead of just one and I love using the gel pens, like I said, they're so satisfying and so smooth. And the company has also provided me with some links to share with you all. I'll have the links attached in the description box of this video so you can check them out. And you can use these links if you would like to, to purchase the Artex Alp markers that I used in this video, as well as the gel pens. And now it's finally here, the part where I added some fine, fun, fun, fine, fine. <laughs> when I added some fun and fine little details with the gel pens. Unfortunately, some of the stars ended up being a bit wonky, but hey, that just adds character, right? <laughs> now it's time to add some more to the face, which means coloring the eyes, adding some lipstick, and then of course using the white gel pen to add a white outline around the character because it's fun and it just makes the character pop from the background and finally we're signing it off because guess what it is finally almost time for our grand reveal just before that however i do want to kind of pack up my desk one more time so that we can do a proper grand reveal with a nice clean desk also we are so so close to reaching 200 000 subscribers which still blows my mind i can't wait until we get there and thank you so much to everyone who subscribed recently and to everyone who has subscribed a long time ago and has continued watching my videos you are all truly truly amazing and i love you all so so much and now it's time for the grand reveal here is our fashion design inspired by the blue tang fish and here's how it turned out the next one we have is our design inspired by the mushroom emoji and i love the details on the pants with the golden gel pen it just looks so shiny and fun especially in real life and now our next character is inspired by strawberries and I love the pattern on this dress. I would love to wear a dress like this just because this pattern is so pretty and I love it. <laughs> and finally, here is my favorite one. 
our character inspired by capsicums or at least her dresses <laughs> and here's how it looks i love the details on this one especially anyways guys that is pretty much it for today thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much again to artex for sending me your products for free to try out i had a great time using them and like i said before i will have links attached in the description that the company has provided me and if you would like to you can use them to purchase the artex alp or alp markers that you saw me using in this video and the gel pens as well thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day